Hi, Cancer, and welcome to your love reading. This is the Dream Medium. Welcome to my channel. So this reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. We're going to be seeing what's happening between you and your love interest. So tell me about, oh, right, the world card came out. Changes, right? What's going on in Cancer's love life? You have the Knight of Swords. What's going on in Cancer's love life? Oh, wow, Two of Swords. The cards are taking no time to flip out. Let's see. So starting with the world, this is all about changes. A transformation is what I'm hearing. But let's see, clarify the world. Clarify the world. All right, so you can see the Empress came out. I feel like, uh, Cancer, you are stepping back into your element, all right? You are becoming, um, like, balance is being restored. Something may have happened in the past that completely got you out of character or got you out of your element, but, you know, the Empress, man, this is the most beautiful woman in the deck, someone who is very stable, someone who's very nurturing, very powerful in her own way as well because she provides stability to others. People look up to the Empress, so I just see you, you have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, letting go of stress, letting go of burdens, letting go of past baggage, moving forward in life. All right, this is a positive change here, but let's just get more information. Clarify the world. Oh, yeah, Nine of Swords. So it was something that definitely, um, you know, put you in distress. All right, because the Nine of Swords... Clearly, as you can see here, this person's having sleepless nights, all right? But you're moving on from that. You're stepping back into your power. Tell me more about the world. You have the three of wands. Wow, you are so set with your decision. With the three of wands here, you're not holding on or waiting on anyone. It's like the three of wands, you've... you've blocked yourself or you've blocked your past and um, you don't even want to look behind. You're looking towards the future. You're looking ahead of you. What's to come? What was the situation about in their past? What was the situation about in their past? Wow, King of Pentacles. Tell me more. Oh, wow. Eight of Pentacles. Now, I do feel like, um, let me just double check. Who is this King of Pentacles? Is this a past lover? Is this new lover? I feel like um, very soon you are about to, yeah, this is someone new. This is an individual who has been helping you to move forward. I feel like this King of Pentacles is someone new. The when I asked what what is the situation about, what is causing you to, you know, be moving forward in such a positive light, it's like you've been inspired by this King of Pentacles, by this incredible individual here, the King of Abundance. Um, I always say if you want someone to to give you an offer. You want them, especially if it's a masculine energy, you want them to come towards you as the king of pentacles because this is someone who is incredibly stable, very committal, very mature, could definitely financially stable, just has their life together and knows what he wants. And I feel like this king of pentacles came in. If he hasn't already, very soon he will be coming in and he's just going to sweep you off your feet. And that explains why with the world here, you're moving on. 
cancer, you're not looking behind. These are positive changes. You don't care about what's in your past anymore. I was wondering, because I'm like, this energy, I'm loving cancer's energy. It's it's effortless, them effortlessly moving forward. There has to be something here. It's new love. It's, it's your true love. It's someone who is also your muse, someone who's also your inspiration, someone who has completely taken your focus off your past. Um, and in and, and clarity of the King of Pentacles, look, the Eight of Pentacles came out. This person here is the real deal. And you guys are manifesting. There's going to be a lot of progression. The both of you, this is equal give and take. The both of you growing this connection. The both of you working on this connection. All right. And the both of you will be rewarded. Okay, for this cooperation, you even have the seven of cups here. This is options that you have cancer, but you're, you're, you're understanding that only one person can really bring you abundance. And I, you see it with the king of pentacles. He's the king of abundance. You do have options. I feel like one of those options is a past love, but the seven of cups is a card that is about quality over quantity, all right? Notice how this individual has seven cups to choose from. And while these seven cups all look the same from the outside, they contain very different things on the inside. So for example, if this individual were to choose this cup here. I mean, this is a snake inside. This is bad luck. This is, um, you know, a lover that's going to bring them misfortune, all right? Or that's going to betray them. But if they choose this cup here, for example, this is abundance. This is uh, fortune. So you are seeing this for yourself. You have the Knight of Swords. Wow. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Queen of Wands came out. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Let's see. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. This is an ex. Someone who took forever to come forward. I knew it. With this swift energy here. Them being a knight. They can't even compare to your King of Pentacles. They're trying to come towards you as a knight, but you're already dealing with a king. There's no comparison whatsoever. Clarify the Knight of Swords. All right, Seven of Swords, right? On the back, Knight of Wands. What is up with all of this knight energy that your past person keeps on coming in as because knights are known to be immature you know they still have some growing up to do uh, the knight of swords is a very swift energy all right in clarity of the knight of swords you have the queen of wands so even you are a queen i mean you came out as the empress now you are a queen i feel like you know you have evolved far more than this past individual has um with the Queen of Wands here, you're firm, you're standing your ground, all right? You are decisive. You know what it is that you want, and you're protecting that. You're protecting your decision. You're protecting your king. And I just feel like this person, with this swift energy here, they they knocked you off balance in the past. We talked about it with the Empress, right? They knocked you off balance. Balance has been restored, okay? Now they're trying to come in to get you back to that place that they had you in. But you're defending yourself with the Queen of Wands here. It's not going to happen. In clarity of the Queen of... Uh, Knight of Swords, excuse me. In clarity of the Knight of Swords, here you have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is certainly someone who feels like they have unfinished business with you. Someone from your past who... Really, when you were interested in them, they were taking their their sweet time to come towards you because the Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy. They're too late. All right. You have the Seven of Swords here. I want to know more about the Seven of Swords. I feel like with the Seven of Swords, this is them sneaking away from some messy situation in their own personal life. I feel like this individual karma has caught up to them and... Um, yeah, look, justice, the justice literally fell out, you guys, justice. So 
if this individual was mistreating you, if they were choosing other people over you, whatever it is that they were doing, it backfired. And now they're trying to run away from their from their personal life, whatever this drama was. Um, oh, look, the devil and the magician. All right. So they were dealing with someone. Let me tell you, this is scary. Even as the reader, this this pairing here, the devil being clarified as a magician. No, this is not sitting right with me. They were dealing with someone who was karmic, of course, toxic, incredibly toxic, someone who had them bound to them. And the magician coming out, this is someone who played your person. If they if your person your if your person or this past person here was playing you, well, they were dealing with the biggest, biggest trickster, very deceitful individual. And this pairing here oftentimes does represent someone who was doing some dark magic on them. All right. That's going to resonate with only a few of you. Um, or this could have just been someone who was really like like a really toxic, deceitful, manipulative, just sick. I'm sorry. This individual is sick with this pairing here, the way that they live their life, deceiving people, pretending to be something that they're not tricking your person. But that's their karma with the justice here. That's their karma. All right. And that's why your person, it, it you know, their karmic has most likely been revealed to them. And this is your person running away from that situation to come towards you. But it, it doesn't work that way. You know, you can't just, yeah, eight of cups. They've leaving, leaving a cycle, leaving something behind in their past to start a new beginning with you. That's what, that's what they're going to be doing. Um, the eight of cups here, man, this is someone who has been investing. I feel like them and their karmic was or were together for a really long time. They were like, this, literally, you see this couple chained to each other, being influenced by the devil, and then it's being paired with the magician. I'm sorry, but for some of you, this this person's karmic was doing some kind of spell or negative, like energy control, something. I don't know about stuff like that. I don't condone stuff like that. But this pairing here, this individual, even if it's not dark magic, this individual that they were dealing with was very sick in the head, okay? I'm trying to be nice, but no, I don't like this energy that I'm getting from their karmic. Um, so this is them closing that chapter. And they've been dealing with this person for a long time. The eight cups are their investments in this person. So years and years with this person. Um, a really long time dealing with them. And the justice is here. All right. So justice was served in their situation as well. Um, but I also feel like it's karma for them for how they treated you too, you know? Um, wow. Clarify the two of swords. Page of cups, them trying to come in and give some kind of last minute apology. But I feel like you're just not going to want to hear it. Ace of Wands. Lots of passion. Especially sexual passion. The Two of Swords here. This is someone who's conflicted. I feel like it's going to be you. You know, because um, I do feel like this individual will try to use their karmic situation to get you to understand. To get you to um, feel bad for them. Um, but the justice is here. So it's saying, like, I'm sorry that happened to you, but you were doing an injustice to me, you know? Um, but I just feel like you're going to be really confused, okay, about which way to go, especially when this person gives you communication. Pages represents communication with that page of cups here. That's an offer, all right? But I also feel like it's an explanation, that's going to make you like, oh, crap, like, should I really leave this person behind, you know? Um, Ace of Wands, they're going to be really, really determined for you as well. Let's see, a card just fell out. Oh, wow, Ace of Cups. Yeah, they're going to be really persistent and very determined to have this new beginning with the Ace of Cups. They've been, they've been asking for this, you guys. They've been like... 
I feel like once upon a time you did manifest this, all right? And it didn't happen on your time. Once upon a time, you were praying for this person, manifesting this. But now that it has finally happened, you're moving forward, okay? Because it took so long. But this is everything that you wanted. It's happening now. But you see how times have changed? Because now you, you'll be dealing with your king of pentacles. Ace of cups, this is a divine offering of a second chance at love. And you have the death, but the death is clarifying the two of swords. You're not going to know what to do because you know you have a new new beginning to start. Are you going to put an end to your past to go towards this new beginning? Who are you going to leave behind? Wow. Wow. Look, on the back of the deck, the star, this is you. It's all up to you, but who are you going to choose to move forward with pretty much? Wow. Wow. So um, Cancer, this was a very interesting reading. I really hope it helps, all right? Just remember it's general, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, you're welcome to book a private reading with me. The link is in the description box. Also, please like, comment, and, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys so much. Please be safe out there, and you have a great day.